Here, look, Minister, good afternoon. And I'd like to support the motion before the House today and commend the Senators from the Green Party for bringing it forward. The benefits of breastfeeding are well documented internationally for both babies and mothers. And I was really surprised uh, by the figure shown in the motion that we only have 62.3% of babies in Ireland being breastfed at birth, far behind most of the Western Hemisphere. I appreciate that the motion recognises the medical necessity uh, of formula-based milk for some babies and infants, but it's true that the industry really has gotten out of hand and that infant formula is being heavily marketed towards uh, much too wide a parent population. Fermanagh Milk Bank Scheme has done brilliant work. So for so many mothers and babies. I would certainly like to see every support given to them and indeed for milk banks to be opened in this country also. I have spoken to a lactation consultant who told me all about the work that is done by these professionals with mothers of newborns and the progress that they're able to make in this most vital area, both providing practical direction to new mothers and giving them a greater sense of security and confidence in breastfeeding their child. However, she also spoke of the low, low numbers of qualified lactation consultants in the country, and I think the motion does put forward some suggestions which these consultants have been calling for, providing breastfeeding training training uh, at undergraduate and postgraduate level across relevant disciplines, developing a clear referral pathway for mothers requiring additional breastfeeding supports before and after birth to lactation consultants from GPs, midwives, public health nurses and consultants, and providing education and breastfeeding in all secondary schools as part of the current uh, SPHE course. This increase in training and awareness is the best way to increase the prevalence of breastfeeding in Ireland. I do have slight concerns surrounding recent reports of viral RNA uh, being found in breast milk of women who received the mRNA vaccine. This was reported in the Journal of the American Medical Association Pediatrics last month. Breastfeeding women were largely excluded from MRA trials, and so while infant young, infants younger than six months are not being advised to receive mRNA vaccines, the passage of these vaccines into breast milk, resulting in infants' exposure at younger than six months, was not investigated. While thus far only trace amounts have been detected, and not in all instances, yet over 50% in the JAMA peer review study, it would be nice if the manufacturers of these vaccines would address the issue with clinical trials. I'm sure that the breastfeeding mothers would appreciate a level of certainty around this area. Finally, I must give a shout out to an organisation which I know really, really well, and the volunteers of the Blood Bikes East. A dedicated team of motorcycle drivers uh, who are transporting breast milk as well as blood from all over uh, the country and all across Dublin uh, by bikes to hospitals and babies in the Rotunda uh, Maternity Hospital. This is an instance where the mother is critically unwell, being cared for in the, in the matter, and their premature baby is in the Rotunda needs the mother's milk. Lisa Carroll, the Rotunda's lead midwife in the lactation team, uh, said the breast milk often hand expressed by the mother gives vulnerable babies a fighting chance. He really does go to show the importance of breast milk and I agree that the calls in this motion to, to support and promote the practice in this country for the betterment and the future generations. I absolutely support breastfeeding uh, at birth, but we must not shame those that are unable to do it. And for many, many reasons, young women may not be able to breastfeed. Breast is best, but there shouldn't be any shaming around those that cannot breastfeed. Thank you.